Hello and welcome back to our Revit tutorial series. In this video, we'll discuss structural schedules which are crucial for tracking quantities and specifications in your project. In the previous video, we placed dimensions and structural riba tags to the sections as you can see. We will go over how to create schedules for foundations, columns, framing and ribbers. Let's get started. To create a schedule, navigate to view tab and select schedule. To create a schedule, navigate to view tab and select schedule. You can also go to the project browser, right click on schedule, then select new schedule. I will go to the view tab, select schedules, then click on schedules. You can scroll in the category list, then select structural foundations. Click OK to define parameters. You can start adding fields for the schedule. I will select on type mark, then click on the green arrow to add it. Select on mark, then add it to the schedule. I will add length parameter to the schedule fields. You can scroll then add width parameter. I will add count parameter to the schedule then hit OK. Here is our foundation schedule. You can go to properties then select edit sorting. Click on edit here. And check itemize every instance then set sort by to type mark and hit OK. This will place a single line schedule for the footings with count at the end. You can add schedules to a sheet by selecting place view command. Select the foundation schedule from here to place it on a sheet. Press OK. I will press my schedule below the foundation plan. Click to place. You can drag to extend the type mark column. I will go back to my schedule view. Click on A, drag to F, then set a line horizontal and vertical to center and middle. The fields are now aligned to the center of the schedule. You can use the arrow keys to adjust the schedule position. We can proceed to create a concrete column schedule. Select schedule, then select schedule or quantities. In the category list, Select structural column then hit OK. I will start by adding type mark to the scheduled fields. Select mark then add it. Add length. I will finish by adding count then hit OK. The created schedule contains both concrete and steel columns as you can see. Select edit filter. Set filter by to type mark equals concrete columns then hit OK. This removes the steel columns from the schedule. Click on edit sorting then uncheck itemize every instance. Set sort by to type mark then hit OK. The schedule is now created with the specified filter and sorting. I will go to my sheet view to place the schedule. Select place view command then select column schedule and hit OK. I will align this to the footing schedule then click to place in sheet. You can extend the type mark column to lengthen the field then use the arrow keys to adjust its position. We can proceed to define our concrete beam schedule. In the project browser, right click on schedules then select new schedules. Scroll to Structural Framing. Select it, then press OK. We can add fields to the schedule. Select on Type Mark, then click on Add. Select on Mark, then add it. I will also add Length. You can modify your schedule by adding your preferred fields. I will add Count, then hit OK.
the schedule contains all beams in the project. Go to properties, then select edit filter. I will switch to filter tab, then set filter by to type mark equals concrete beams. You can select any condition from the list to define your filters. I will go to sorting, set to type mark, and check itemize every instance, then hit OK. Go to the sheet to add the schedule. In sheet composition, select place view command. Select the framing schedule, then hit OK. Click to place the schedule in sheet. I will extend the type mark column. Go to column schedule, select A, drag to D, set align horizontal and vertical to center and middle. I will repeat the same for the framing schedule. In the sheet view, the fields have been updated as we have defined. We can proceed to create a RIBA schedule. Select on schedules in the view tab. Scroll and select structural RIBA then hit OK. You can choose from the available fields in the list to define your RIBA schedule. I will start adding to schedule fields. First, I will select on partition, then use the green arrow to add it to my schedule. I will add mark. Next, I will add type mark, then type. Select type mark, then add. Select type, then add. We can add quantity by riba set field to the schedule. You can modify your schedule with your preferred fields in the list. I will scroll to bar length, then add it. I will also add total bar length field to the schedule. I will scroll to add host count field. I will place it below quantity by riba set. Select on host count, don't press add. Select quantity by riba set, then press add. Click on total bar length, then proceed to adding fields. Go to the top, then start adding length parameters. Add A, add B, add C, add D, then add bending detail. Press OK to finish. A RIBA schedule has been created for all bars in the project. Go to the project browser, then select Edit Field. I will select on Type Mark, then remove it from the schedule. Go to Sorting or Grouping tab. Set Sort By to Partition, then by Mark. We can also sort our ribbers by length fields. I will sort by bar length, then A. The bars will be grouped with this sorting. And check itemize every instance, then hit OK. We can edit sorting to clear varies from the schedule. Click on edit sorting. I will set bar length to quantity by ribber set, then press OK. Set A to bar length, then press OK. We still have varies at the dimensions field. I will fix this by going back to sorting tab in the schedule properties. I will change mark to A, then press OK. Our RIBA schedule is now complete with values present in the field. For the column ribbers, I defined custom ribbers with no parameters for A, B, or C. We can still add more fields in the schedule. I will click on total bar length to add a field below it. Then select shape, add it, and press OK. Shape codes have been added to the schedule. We can go to a sheet view to add the schedule. Select place view, then select riba schedule and press OK. Move the cursor to a free space in the sheet, then click to place. 
We now have the rib schedule in the sheet. I will extend the shape column. To adjust the rows, go to properties and set resize row to image rows. I can set the height to 25 then hit apply. This can help in bending detail field. This can help in viewing the bending details. I will go to my schedule view, select A, then drag to M. You can hold control and use the wheel button to zoom in a schedule. I will select A, then drag to M. Set align horizontal and vertical to center and middle. If we go to the sheet view, the fields have been updated as you can see. You can modify the fields to have your preferred schedule style. I will go back to my Riba schedule view. To adjust the fields, click on edit fields in the properties box. I will select host count, remove it, then press OK. And there you have it. A comprehensive guide to structural scheduling and documentation in Revit 2024. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Revit tips and tricks. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.